I'm Cory Doctorow, and you're listening to a Creative Commons licensed podcast. Some rights reserved. This is the Trilingual Chatbox podcast. We're Laurie from Taiwan. And Mai from Japan. In this podcast, we share our Japanese and Mandarin language learning experience with our audience in English. If you're interested or you have a similar language learning background, welcome to join us. Ruri-san, I fell down the stairs at the station. Hade ni koronjai mashita. Oh no, daijoubu deshita? Hai, demo mawari no hito ni warawari mashita. People were laughing at me. It was embarrassing. How did it happen? Were you in a hurry? はい、My boss left his smartphone, so I was running after him. そうなんですね。それでスマホは届けられましたか？Did you manage to pass it to him? はい、なんとか届けられました。よかったですね。でも駅で転んだシーンが今も思い出されます。It was embarrassing. じゃあ、美味しいものでも食べて忘れちゃいましょう。Let's eat something nice and forget about it. Hi, Lori-san. Hello, mai san Hey, guys. Hi, everyone. Hello, Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome back to our podcast. We are having a Japanese episode today. In the last Japanese episode, we talked about Japanese passive voice. Nani nani reru? Nani nani rareru? Today, I'm going to give you three more meanings of reru, rareru. So, in okay. total, there are four meanings. Mm-hmm. Okay. There are judo, passive, sonke. Honorific, Kano, Potential, and Jihatsu, Spontaneous. Okay? okay, so now I will explain them one by one. Okay, first one. First one is passive voice, Judo. So this one has been covered in the last Japanese episode. So if you haven't listened to our Japanese episode number seven, please make sure you listen to it too. Okay, so in the today's skit, I said, Warawaremashita. This is direct passive voice, and it means I was laughed at. So if you want to say I laughed in Japanese, it is watashi wa waraimashita. It is active voice. So if you want to say I was laughed at, watashi wa warawaremashita. This is an example of direct passive voice. Mm-hmm. Okay. In the previous Japanese episode, we focused on indirect passive voice. So let's touch on that too. Lori-san, do you remember the meaning of Watashi wa ame ni furaremashita? Yeah, we talked about it. Um, <laughs> it was sort of like I was rained. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I like the translation of um, I was caught in the rain. It, That's it right. Sound, mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounded very right. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, it rained and I felt inconvenient or mm-hmm. yeah, unhappy. Yeah, unhappy. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure you are okay with this. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I reviewed the last um, <laughs> episode before coming here. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs> so, Rosa, can you give us one example of passive voice sentence in Japanese? Okay. Um, I'll try. Um, kawaii so na otoko wa oki na inu ni oso wareda. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> so he was attacked by yeah. a big dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect sentence, but it's very sad. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, so next one. Meaning number two. Honorific form. Sonke. So I will give you some examples first. Okay. okay. First one. Okay. It means my boss always works till late, saying it in a respectful way. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you want to say it in a plain, polite way, then mm-hmm. This is the difference. The first one was... So when, when would you use this kind of form? If, if, if you're talking to someone else, not directly to your superior? You mm, that's right. That? right. Right. Okay, so yeah. if you're talking to... Your superior, do you still use this honorific form? Yes. Oh, so, okay. Like this one, like if you are talking to another boss or somebody mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. about your boss. Um. Okay. But okay. 
So if you are talking to somebody in your, within your company, mm -hmm. and then the higher than you, the, the person who is higher position than you, mm -hmm. then maybe you can say that. That's okay. this, this sentence. Uh -huh. okay. What, well, what about a, a good friend uh, in the company? You're uh, not mm -hmm. superior than, than you, but you're still talking about mm -hmm. your boss. Mm -hmm. You can say that hatarakarimas, but you don't have to. You can oh, you can use okay. the casual plane. Oh, okay. To, between your colleagues. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. it's sort of like a gesture to show that you're showing respect to that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, all right. Okay, next example. Suzuki san wa sude ni taisha saremashita. Mr. Suzuki has already left the office. This one is honorific form. So in a plain form, if you, you want to say in a plain form, Suzuki-san wa sude ni taisha shimashita. Mm -hmm. So, taisha saremashita and taisha shimashita. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more example. Ōku no okyakusama ga kono shōhin wo kawaremasu. Many customers buy this product. This one is in a uh, honorific way. Honorific mm -hmm. form, and mm -hmm. if we want to say it in a plain form, it's "Ōku no okyakusama ga kono shōhin wo kaimasu." Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's compare meaning number one and number two. Okay, number one was a passive voice, mm -hmm. and number two is honorific form. Okay, first sentence: Karaoke de joshi wa yuri no dry flower wo utaware mashita. Totemo jōzu deshita. Okay, this dry flower is the, the song. Mm -hmm. right? So the meaning, the translation of this sentence is my boss sang dry flower by Yuri at mm -hmm. karaoke and he sang really well. So this one is I used utawaremashita. Yeah, this one is honorific form. Mm -hmm. Okay, next sentence. Karaoke de joshi ni Yuri no dry flower wo utawaremashita. Okay, this is indirect passive voice. Mm -hmm. okay. The uh, translation is My boss sang Dry Flower by Yuri at karaoke before me, so I couldn't mm -hmm. sing that song, mm -hmm. though I was planning to <laughs> sing that song. Okay, do you see the difference? Yeah, um, I think it's still very difficult for mm -hmm. me to decide when. Or uh -huh. whether I should be using the judo. Uh -huh. Like in Chinese, we don't really need to use this in some cases. Yeah. Um, in English or in Japanese, you both use passive voice. Like the mm. sentence, okay, when is the building built? Okay, in English, mm -hmm. it's, in, it's passive. Mm -hmm. Right. And in uh, Japanese as well, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in Chinese, it's simply uh, We don't have the subject there. We don't mm -hmm. have the passive voice there. We mm -hmm. use an active voice. So mm -hmm. is, there, um, is there a rule or can you, can you share some more um, tips for us? Sure. I think Japanese direct passive voice is similar to English passive voice. So if you don't know that subject of the action or if you don't want to mention it clearly you can use the direct passive voice also mm -hmm. you can use the passive voice if you want to emphasize the person or the thing affected by the action and okay. one more thing i noticed is that in japanese it sounds more natural if a subject oh sorry if a speaker is the subject of a sentence mm. so we tend to use the passive voice for the situation that speaker is affected by someone else's action. Mm -hmm. okay. So, for example, here's English sentence. A stranger talked to me at the park. So, if, you, if I want to describe the same situation in Japanese, it is more, more natural to use the passive voice. Koen de misirano hito ni hanashikakerare mashita. Instead of saying, koen de misirano hito ga watashi ni hanashikake mashita. Okay. Okay, do you see it? Yeah, so you, you, you tend to use the, um, you tend to start with I, 
Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But oh, we okay. are dropping. Oh, yeah, sometimes not, it's a minute. Mm -hmm. That's right. What about in Chinese? Do you use the passive voice for this kind of sentence? Uh, if um, if it's the same sentence that you just mentioned, a stranger right. came came to me. Yeah. Then in Chinese, we would use something like uh, like directly translated from English. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. We, we mm. would use passive voice, though it's possible. Mm -hmm. But I would have to think, like, we, 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 we would need to fill in more words. Mm, and not I just the, the original English words translated directly. Yeah, we mm. need some other words, functional words, to turn that into a passive voice mm. sentence. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, this sentence in Japanese also, it's possible to use active voice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think it's more common to use the passive voice for this okay. sentence. Mm -hmm. So it is habitual. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. When when you first learned English, have you encountered some other difficulties? Like like in Japanese, the passive mm -hmm. voice was used, whereas in English, there wasn't. Right. I, think, I think yeah. I think it would be the indirect passive voice. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is very confusing for Japanese speakers when trying to say the same thing in English, because you cannot express those sentences using the passive voice in English, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, I read somewhere that in Japanese, we often leave out watashi, anata, or sometimes other right. subjects. Right, and right. Start a sentence with an indirect object. Yeah. So we, when we speak English, translating Japanese sentence in our head, we tend to <laughs> say an indirect object first and mm -hmm. then try to make a sentence. So it, it, is, it often Usually becomes passive. passive voice. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Yeah, for okay. example, like uh, if I want to say, Ototo ni ego If I want to say this sentence in English, like it's, I teach my brother English, but mm -hmm. usually, like people say my brother first. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes, learners, yeah. My brother is taught by <laughs> my brother. Right. Then after saying my brother, then they try to make a sentence. So it becomes passive voice. Mm -hmm. Right. I think it is. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, so I should keep that also in mind, so that I would, <laughs> I will remember not to use passive all the time. I don't, I don't think this is a thing in Japanese, right? You don't really particular in particular like using passive voice. Mm. Do you? <laughs> mm, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, um. Is is passive voice used a lot, like like the uh, example you just mentioned? Um, mm -hmm. You would tend to use uh, I was was uh, I was oh, talked right, right, to. Right. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's a habit. Like you tend to use the other one with the passive voice, while while you can still use the active voice. Mm, I think sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So, meaning number three, potential. Kano. Okay. So, this reru, rareru, can be translated as can, could, be able to, or manage to. Mm -hmm. So, and it is limited to verbs ending with ru, right? And right. suru is an exception. So, in the skit, Lori san said, todoke rare mashita ka? It means, mm -hmm. did you manage to pass it or deliver it? Mm -hmm. So, nani nani suru koto ga dekiru can be used instead of reru, rareru. That's okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Almost exactly the same. That's right. Yeah. You can use it instead of reru, rareru. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you can say, todokeru koto ga dekimashita ka? Instead of todoke rare mashita ka? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let me give you some ru ending verbs. So, hashiru, this one. Mm -hmm. Runs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Hashireru. Mm -hmm. You can run. Hashireru. Noru. Noreru. Mm -hmm. Taberu. Taberareru. Kiru. Kirareru. Mm -hmm. Miru. Mirareru. Right. Mm -hmm. Lori-san, can you think of any other words that ends with ru? Mm -hmm. 
usually it's eru, uh, beru, right? So, Mm-mm. like, homeru. And yes. homerareru. That's right. That's right. Nice. Yes. Shirabe, shiraberu. Shirabe, nareru. Correct. Perfect. And oboe masu. Oh, oboeru. Oboe, nareru. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got it. Right. So let me point out one thing. Many Japanese people, including myself, tend to drop la and just say reru for this usage. For instance, I eat is taberu. I can mm-hmm. eat is taberareru. Mm-hmm. But instead of saying taberareru, many people say tabereru. Okay. So we drop la. Right? It seems that we are trying to distinguish between honorific form and potential form. By right, uh-huh. we, yeah, both forms are tabe mm-hmm. But since it is confusing, people often drop la when expressing potential. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, for example, people say, asobi ni koreru instead of asobi ni koraleru. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. See. But don't drop la when writing proper documents. Okay, so mm-hmm. it's only for um, speaking. That's right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, next one, the last one, meaning number four, spontaneous, jihatsu. Mm-hmm. So it means something happened naturally without the speaker's intention. Mm-hmm. This ending is restricted to verbs of thought, cog- cognition, and or feeling. Mm-hmm. Okay? And compared with other three meanings, this usage is not frequently used in a daily conversation, I think. Okay. Right? So it sounds a bit polite and used more in writing. Okay. I'll give you a few examples. So, kono nioi wo kaguto, obaachan no ie ga omoi dasaremasu. Mm-hmm. Omoi dasaremasu. Omoi right. dasu is intentionally remember or recall. Mm-hmm. Omoi dasareru is like we recall without the speaker's intention. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, in English translation of this sentence is this smell reminds me of my grandma's house. Okay, you Come said on. it's uh, usually in written form? Mm, yeah, yeah. But um, if you like really me. want to say it yeah, out loud? Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Oh, you can yeah. still say it. But it, it sounds a bit mm, too formal. polite. Yeah, formal, yeah. Mm-hmm. Formal is the word. Um, so is there a casual way to say the same thing without same using thing. starting? Uh, in daily conversation, I would say... この匂いを嗅ぐとおばあちゃんの家を思い出します。Like ah. I remember my grandma's mm-hmm. house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. One more example. 雇用情勢の悪化が懸念される。懸念する is concern. So 懸念される. Yeah, this is the jihatsu. Mm-hmm. So meaning is uh, there are concerns about worsening of the employment duration. Mm-hmm. So this, this kind of sentence is often used in news. Right, right. Can it sound really formal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You often hear it and you often see on papers. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think, yeah, that's all for my explanation. All right. Okay. So now quiz time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I prepared four questions today. Okay, please tell me if... Redu, rareru, in the sentences are judo, passive, sonke, honorific, kano, potential, or jihatsu, spontaneous. Okay. okay. How, how yeah. Or to <laughs> our listeners, if you want to check the sentences in writing, you can visit our website. Okay? You can find the link in the description box of this episode. Okay, let's start. Number one. Sensei wa 30分 hodo hanasareta ato. Okay, so this nomare master part. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. This is which nomare meaning? Mm. Um so the uh, the teacher spoke to me for about 30 minutes and the teacher felt a little bit thirsty and he <laughs> and he drank a little bit. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh so I think it should be like because he was a teacher, I think it should be sonke. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Okay. Yes, correct. <laughs> sonke. Right. 
Next one. Number two. Watashi wa yuju fudan na no de tabetai mono o sugni kimerale masen. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> me too, this actually. Is, yeah, yeah exactly. Describing us. Kimerale <laughs> masen. <laughs> um, uh, I can't, I cannot decide. So it's a link to ability. So, kano. Mm, that's right. <laughs> Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so meaning was、uh, since I am indecisive, I cannot、mm -hmm. decide what I want to eat quickly. Yes.、Okay. <laughs> Number three. What does you got ice cream or tabete itala? Karasu ni taberare masta. Karasu. What? A, a cow, right? <laughs> is it a cow? What, what is a karasu? A crow. 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 crow.、Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. The bird. Yeah.、Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was a cow. <laughs> okay. Um, taberare <laughs> masta. So the the crow、uh -huh. ate、um, ate my ice cream.、So、That's right. It was, it was eaten. Then it's、uh, judo. That's right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ni <laughs> taberare <laughs> masta. Judo. Yes. That's right. So when I was eating ice cream, my ice cream was eaten by a crow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.、Oh, okay. Okay. Taberare. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Question number four. この曲を聞くと高校時代が思い出されます。いや、これは自発。うん。思い出される。Okay. <laughs> That's the <laughs> first one you t o l d Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct. So the meaning, the translation is、uh, this song reminds me of my high school days. Okay. okay. All right. So it, it does sound、um, polite, formal. Yes, formal, yes. Yeah. So, so, usually you just say, uh, omoi das, dashimas. Mm. Kono kyoko kito, to koko jida omoi dashimas. Omoi das. Mm. -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be discussing another topic focusing on Mandarin Chinese that's specifically chosen by my son next time. So, welcome to join us again. If you have any questions, suggestions, Or if you want us to discuss a certain topic, please leave a voice message to us. We will try to make an episode on that topic. Alright, see you next time. Bye!